All right, what's up y'all? Uh, like myself, some of you might be going through a time where you're working on something, been going at it for a long time, and it just isn't working out. You know, you, you kind of have, you have like a prideful feeling about it. You told people you're gonna make this work and you had a lot of hopes for yourself. Maybe you've been doing it for years. It's kind of hard to let go or something or give up in a sense. I'm gonna be kind of giving my perspective on that. When you should throw in the towel, give up, and if you should, because you hear a lot of the time, people will be like, never give up. You can make it work if you work hard enough. But sometimes that just isn't true. And it can be kind of a huge waste of time if you don't realize it. I've made this mistake, huge waste of time and money. So I'll go into that a little deeper later. But I wanna talk about the story of Twitter and how this kind of goes in with this uh, idea here. In, in my perspective is originally Twitter was a company called Odeo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Started with two founders, neither of whom were Jack Dorsey. He was an employee at the time. Um, and they were a podcast platform. So kind of like Spotify or iTunes, um, they were just gonna post um, podcasts. This was 2005. So podcasts were still very new and they raised about $5 million, 15 employees, and they were very in on this. They were very hopeful about it. Had been working on it for quite some time now. And then, as soon as they launch, I believe about three months after, iTunes comes in, or iTunes was created actually, um, by Apple, and they just completely crushed them. They were getting no users, a little windy, interesting. Hope this sounds fine, but they were getting no users at all. And they had a failing business on their hands now. So what do they do? Do they keep trying to fight this giant industry mogul and hope they can come out on top, even though their investors are upset, they're kind of losing morale, or do they pivot? which one might consider as giving up. Well, what they ended up doing was they got together, they said, we need to change this entire thing. So they rewrote their whole business. Jack Dorsey came up with the idea of Twitter. And from there, they just started working on what the idea of Twitter is. Literally just presenting what's going on in a person's life and a broadcast it to everybody else. Um, it's no surprise because you know how Twitter is nowadays. It ended up doing super well. So kind of the moral of that story is sometimes you have to pivot. Even if you care a lot about something, it just might not work. So when do you know when to jump ship? When I say jump ship, I don't want you to think jump ship into the water and just drown, okay? This isn't a motivation thing. I want you to think it's like, I need to jump this ship to get onto that one. Not, I need to jump ship and give up on everything and then be eaten by sharks. It's not, not what I'm saying here. Another kind of example is gold mines. And this is kind of an easy way to think about it. So if you feel you might be in the situation where things aren't working, and you don't know if you want to do it anymore, uh, think if you're in these two scenarios, I guess. So gold reserves, some places have gold, some don't. You can probably already see where I'm going with this. Um, there's a good... Ch I hear noises. <laughs> uh, you might like, if I started mining gold right here, on this trail, do you think I would find anything? Probably not. Nobody has ever tried mining gold here. They're all in, I don't, I don't know where gold is found, like Colorado or something. They're all mining gold out there. So there is such a small probability I will find anything if I start digging here. But that's how you find untapped gold mines, of course. So in a perspective of business, or even just, it kind of ties into everything, but it makes sense for business here. So there's a chance I might find something. And I'll dig a few feet down. That's perfectly fine. That's experimenting. 
that's trying out different niches or different businesses, industries, which is how you can get something big going. But if I get three feet down and I start to find nothing, then I start digging even more down and I continue to not find anything, even though I'm like confident that there might be some here, why are you gonna keep digging? You can still keep the goal of getting gold in your head. Don't lose the goal. Oh, this wind is kind of crazy. Hold on one second. Okay, as I was saying, you can keep the idea of getting gold in mind. So let's say we are talking from a business perspective, money. You can still get money. You just have to change spots. So it isn't about completely giving up on whatever you're doing. It's about pivoting to something that has more potential and realizing that, okay, this might not be working. I need to go somewhere else. I need to go mine in a different area. But you won't figure that out yet unless you've actually tried mining a few feet down. So don't use this as an excuse to think, oh, I've tried this YouTube channel for a week and it's just not working. Like what the hell, man? No, no, you gotta go out. You gotta go at it for a little bit longer than that. And I want your confidence that you've dug in a few feet down, you're not finding anything. And also know that nobody else has found anything doing this, right? If you're trying something new, this mostly applies to you. Um, Cause if you know there's gold somewhere, then you likely can tap into it. But now we're just talking about niches, I guess. But anyways, you got my point. I like to talk about how this applied to me recently. So I have this channel, which is Ryan Mitchell 2. Um, and I have Ryan Mitchell, which is the main one. Well, I guess won't be the main one soon. But anyways, I really wanted to make that channel work. I've spent so much money on it. The idea was to make valuable content. People can take something away from in a very like narrative driven, optimized style. Um, so I kind of wanted, I had that mindset towards content for my Minecraft channel. So it ended up not working. It worked a little bit. And then I tried replicating what worked, which was like asking, inter uh, interviewing millionaires and a few more tries and I got nothing. In these videos I was so confident in, it was like a stab. I worked so hard on these videos, spent so much money and they didn't work. Ooh, damn. And um, that's just how it is sometimes. So I'm either going to continue making these videos in that style, spending all this money and time when I know that it's so volatile, I likely won't find anything, or I can try switching things up. Switch it to a different possible gold reserve. I might not find anything there, but it's all about the reps. The guy who keeps digging in the same spot, hoping to find something and doesn't find anything, looks insane. And you know, you have those very few exceptions of the people who continue to go and go and go. Then they're like, oh, people call me insane. But it's pretty rare, and most of the time those people were onto something pretty early, so. If you don't even see a bit of progress, that's the thing. They, there's a thing called the winner's effect, where if you get a win, then you're likely to keep winning. It's kind of like gold, right? If you find that little piece of gold while you're mining, three feet down, you'll likely find more. But if you keep taking L after L after L, you're not going to get anywhere. So um, if you're in this situation, just think to yourself, am I kind of at a dead end? Have I found any sort of progress yet? And has that co compounded at all? If the answer is no, then you low key might be in a, a dead end mine and you gotta switch things, but don't overthink it. Just try, try different things, experiments, get the reps in until you found something that you think truly works 
and is proving itself to work, whether by your own trials or someone else's. So that's my talk for today. Let's get after it, y'all. We out here. Peace. Thanks for watching.